More than 300 volunteers are picking up debris in Reedyville after Friday night's bad storm. Good evening, I'm Emily Luxon. Those volunteers can be out in the disaster zone until 6 tonight. And as News Channel 5's Hannah McDonald shows us, they need all the help they can get. The damage in Reedyville is breathtaking. Community members tell me the shock is starting to wear off, but they know the cleanup is going to take a long time to finish. The storm that hit Reedyville nearly wiped it off the map. The store's gone, post office, and all them houses. Extremely strong winds Friday into Saturday damaged 30 homes and completely destroyed another 10. Miraculously, some homes were spared. A homeowner told us he can't believe he slept through the storm. I didn't know them trees was laying over here. I didn't know how close it come to killing me. Russell's Market, a grocery store at the Rutherford Cannon County line, was leveled. Russell Reed is in disbelief. He's owned the store for 44 years. Our daughter, when the store was being built, she learned to roller skate as the floor, after the floor got hard and that kind of thing. But yeah, it seems unreal at times. Reed runs the general store with his wife. It's situated next to the Reedyville Mill, which dates back to 1812. It's gone too. I mean, it'll take a toll. It'll always be in the back of her mind. Not everyone we talked to said they plan to rebuild. This historic little community now has a very uncertain future. Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5. Hannah, thank you. Incredibly, no one was killed. Two people received minor injuries. Volunteers are needed all week to help clear properties. And if you'd like to help, you are required to check in each day at the New Hope Church of Christ on Murfreesboro Road for an assignment.